everybody to P here coming to you to talk to you about campfires now the thing about this campfire is as you can see it's done but as I was filming it <clears throat> my audio went out so I had to redo this again so basically I'm going to show you a few tips on paint pens this is a tour gonna be a tutorial about these things paint painters pen and um, you can get them at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and all that. I don't, I'm not getting paid for this, so. But I do like these things, so I wanted to show you a little bit about them. Now, this is how they come. All right, and you're gonna go. <clears throat> there's no paint on it. I'm drawing. Nothing on it. Now, they should. There it goes. You gotta shake these up, kind of like you have to do when you have spray paint, and you're spraying paint. You have to shake it up. There's a little ball inside of this thing. It's it's uh, oil based, and then you want to take this and you go. I'll show it here. You're going to just start pushing down on it. Shake it and push. Shake it and push. And all of a sudden, voila! You've got green. And so now you're able. Now when you use these, you don't want to push. You can you get you extract paint out of these things when you push down on it as you can see I'm pushing down on it all right that releases more paint okay when you're using these things do not push on it just just like don't push down and and draw just lightly use it like you would a normal pen uh, I always have one of these here so when I want to sometimes when you're drawing an upside down the paint runs back kind of does with uh, your ballpoint pens and stuff like that you got to turn it back up there let it come back and push to get more stuff out of it all right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and do why I did the campfire. One is because I camp, and you can't have a good campfire without having, let me get a little bit off of me here. You gotta have a s'more. Well, actually, this is a um, marshmallow. And the marshmallow has to have a little bit of brown on it. Now, see, I'm gonna, now watch what I'm gonna do. See how I use my finger? I'm gonna roast it up a little bit. You don't have to use a lot of it, and you can bleed it to do to do other things. So now I have a roasted marshmallow. If you've not had a s'more, which is a graham cracker, marshmallow, Hershey's chocolate, another graham cracker, squished together, ooh wee, mm -mm, good. And this, of course, is my hot dog wiener. I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. That is what I truly want to be. Because if I were an Oscar Mayer wiener, everyone would be in love with me. That's Oscar Mayer wiener song. I wish they would bring back these old car commercials. Forget about the new stuff. So I'm basically just going to just draw. And I'm just going to touch it up a little bit here. If I, need more, if I need more out of it, I can go ahead and push down on it to get a little bit more out of it. There we go. So that's that campfire. Like I said, I've touched this up already, and I'm sorry you missed a tutorial on that, but I'm going to give you a little thing, because I went back and looked at this, and I really do not like the way it looks. So I am going to do, whoa, whoop. now that was not planned, but that is a perfect example of why you have a whoopsie rag. This is a great example. Thank you for giving me a great example. Okay, perfect paint thinner, and I always have it, my rag soaked with some paint thinner. Just for that reason, I, I meant to do that. I meant to show you all that. But that is a really good example of a paint pen. You don't want to push it down on it or it will explode on you. Have a, have a rag. So have you noticed? There's no, no actually I got a bit, I said on the oil-based paint, sometimes, let's go ahead and get that off of there. All right. And here's the thing about this. I painted this and you've noticed how the coloring is not coming off on this. And it, so once you paint this, your object that you're painting once you do that it will stay on there now the Sun will bleach it out a little bit but um, you can see it doesn't come off with paint for app once it's been set so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and, and, and let's go ahead and go back to using that red one and I just I don't want to use the whole thing so you can make your pins go farther by this thing wants to leak on me. I don't know why. It's leaking on my shirt. Leaking on my pants. Probably leak on my, my brand new shirt. I wouldn't like that. So here, I, see I'm pulling it. 
See, I'm just pulling down some flames, trying to make it look a little bit more natural. And I like that look a little bit better. And yeah, I'll have to take my finger <laughs> and use the paint thinner on it, but that's okay. All right. Yeah, and I'm gonna get a little bit more here. Now, for the little bit of the detail, let's go ahead and put in a little bit of lines, kind of make it look a little bit more, gives it more dimension, okay? And like I said, these are just a little bit of fire for your campfire. That's, like, that's looking a little bit better. I'm liking that. And let's go ahead and add a little bit more orange here. There you go. Bleed her down. A little bit more orange here. Bleed her down. And you see, I missed that spot. See, I just now caught that. I missed this spot here from before. You'll find that you're never going to get this thing right the way you want it. You can, you'll always come back to this area and go, oh, that needs that. Let's get a little red here on the and that's looking good. And a little bit of yellow. Where's my jello? My jello yellow. Here's my, okay, on these two, I did my tutorial. I made the border. See how it's kind of wigged out a little bit more, kind of like this. I took my, this is another marker that's big. This is the big Mamba Jamba. Why is there no paint on there? Oh, that's right. I got, <laughs> I um, bought a new one. So that's my marker there. It's the, that's the big daddy. And I used him. See how it made him flail out a little bit to kind of get, get some dimension. You, this is not going to have to be perfect. When, you have, when you're doing something like this, man, just have fun. That's the whole reason for, for doing something like this is just to have fun. Just to get creative. Get your creative juices flowing, as they say. Now... I'm just going to go ahead and retrace some of this. This is all I'm doing. And I'm going to go ahead and give a little bit more character in my fire logs. Okay, so for all of you that camp, I wanted to give it, I don't think all of y'all know this, when you camp, you don't want to bring wood from out of state or out of the area. You want to use the wood that's local in the area because it keeps the insects from being transported to other areas and it uh, causes diseases in, in trees and stuff like that. So when you when you when you go bring, bring don't bring wood from your area uh, to uh, the camp sites. But usually better than anything, just go ahead and uh, and um, buy from the park, even though it's expensive. It, it keeps the state parks going. I didn't like this right here, so I'm gonna push here and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and watch this. I'm gonna make it look a little bit more like a wooden stick. And I'm going to add a little bit more brown in here to make it look more like wood. See how I did? See how I'm doing that, guys? It's real, it's real simple. It's real easy. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just get after it. Here's my stick. you got to have the stick holding up the holding up the, the wiener and the, and the marshmallow. going to need to have make sure you have that paint thinner on hand and like I said sometimes it takes a while to get it there it comes right, I didn't like I could hardly see my handle on my on my pot belly stove now I want to show you something here on these pot belly stoves here the um, they have legs on campfires you're gonna want to you want to want a Dutch oven that has legs because you'll want to put the coals underneath there you know what I need some coals charcoal briquettes is what they call them. Let's go ahead and put some briquettes up here. Now if these are briquettes, you know how a briquette is getting uh, less heat is when it's not red. Alrighty. And if I remember, I think it's like 8 to 12. 8, um, eight um, on the top and 12 on the bottom to be like 350 degrees for cooking. Just a little bit of tidbit. So, that being that, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more because I'm going to be doing a lot of these.
Thanks again. 2P, over and out.